what's up party people check 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 i just wanted to always do that microphone check one two and two what's up is inya is signing in for the month of may it is already may i don't know why i'm talking in this radio voice how was your weekend mine was good went to see a comedy show it was very funny old school guy love the jokes um he told a lot of jokes that were funny very funny i'm gonna tell them to you maybe when i'm not guess what tired i will but right now me trying to repeat a joke to you will be a joke get it boom 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 um let's see what we got here going on in the news i didn't see a lot of news today why is Incredible Hulk trending? Incredible Hulk is actually my favorite of the Marvel trans- franchises. But this is about liquor. Is it about liquor? Yeah. And the Incredible Hulk is Hennessy mixed with hypnotic and it turns green. So that's why they're talking about the Incredible Hulk. So if you want to make an cr- Incredible Hulk beverage, that is what it is. Um, what else is going on? That was the most interesting thing that was trending on Twitter. Let's just roll on through these news sites and see what we have. Hunter Biden is getting closer to being held accountable in his little baby mama case. Eric, the mayor in New York, is actually on the street recruiting for jobs. I guess they have a lot of jobs that is not, uh, you know, a lot of people aren't getting jobs, I guess. And they're available, I guess. In New York, that is. Brittany Griner is going to the Met Gala for all us people that are not rich and if you are into that kind of thing the Met Gala I mean the outfits are interesting but I don't really care enough I don't care enough to care what who's wearing what maybe it's a is there another was there another mass shooting in Texas that I didn't have any idea about Disco or Pesa is intensifying. Do you all believe that the suspect is still in the area? We do not know. Right now, we have zero leads. More than 250 officers are now scouring the area for the man accused of murdering five of his neighbors, including an eight-year-old child. My heart. Is with this eight-year-old little boy. I don't. I don't care if he was here legally. I don't care if he was here illegally. The FBI taking over the investigation, releasing these new photos of the 38-year-old. One image showing a prominent tattoo on the suspect's left forearm. Meanwhile, officers are going door to door today, talking to neighbors and searching homes. They had family parties together. Sean Crawford, who lives across the street from the suspect and the victims, is still in shock. Everybody is shocked and kind of scared. The suspect is believed to have been intoxicated Friday night when officials say he burst into his neighbor's home with an AR-15 rifle and opened fire after he was asked to stop shooting the gun outside. The father of the youngest victim, inconsolable, as he returned to his home where his wife and child were murdered. The manhunt began nearly 48 hours ago. Investigators said they were closing in on the suspect Saturday, searching a wooded area a few miles from the crime scene. But after finding his cell phone and clothing, search dogs lost his scent. Tonight, the community gathering to remember the lives lost as the manhunt continues. And Priscilla's with me now. Priscilla, law enforcement officials are asking for the public for help, right? That's right, Kate. Authorities say they have no leads right now, and they do believe the suspect could be trying to contact friends. They are urging anyone with any information to come forward immediately. Kate? 
Wow. To me, if you do something like that, you just might as well turn yourself in because if you were bold enough to go and kill like an entire family, why get cowardly? Like, go out like freaking, you know, mama, this is going to be a very country southern turn. And I don't even know, but mama makes up a lot of stuff. But, um, I'm not even say it, but just go out like a man. Don't go running if you're gonna do all that. That's sad. Prayers to that family. Um, just looking at what I want to read. I don't want to get into too much murder and mayhem. California is bracing for floods. There's a so-called big melt coming on. But then in that, man, it's, I mean, that's, that news that we read was absolutely terrible. But other than that, there's not any news going on like that. So I don't know what that means. But yeah, I'm just going to see what people are talking about on reddit what is the worst physical pain you have ever experienced mine would definitely be the gas chamber in basic training that burned the heck out of me and i try to be smart and put some like tissues because i've saw the videos where people are like snotting and all this stuff and so they film you so i'm like you know what i'm gonna put some tissue in my pocket because ain't as soon as i come out i gotta be cute and not snotting i'm gonna wipe my nose and that tissue like soaked up all that uh cs gas and man when i after my face i didn't have snot but the next day all my skin was like peeled off of my nose so that didn't work so well for me but yeah that's wild but yeah somebody said an infection from a tumor and a jawbone yikes tooth abscess take care of your teeth people yes ovarian cysts bursting your fallopian tooth y'all got some stuff mine is definitely in the gas chamber though not the wood i don't want nothing else to burst or burn um what is the dumbest controversy over the last two years i wouldn't say controversy i would say that stupid dress whether it was white or gold or blue or black let's see what other people are saying flat earth (laughs) yeah that is above my pay grade to discuss i mean i don't believe the earth is flat but Somebody said the Sandy Hook thing me and stage. That was just terrible. I mean, I understand why conspiracy theorists run wild because there is things that we don't know about and societies that we don't know about and all that. So I get it. But uh, yeah, a lot of the QAnon stuff, a lot of people are mentioning QAnon stuff on here. Let's see what else we got. What is some poor people food that you will eat no matter how wealthy you get? There's a lot. Like if I didn't have any like fancy garlic bread for my spaghetti, I will put some toast with some butter on it and act like I got a whole garlic toast. No matter how poor I get. Um, Definitely rocking with that. Ramen. I can't do ramen. My blood pressure will be through the roof rice and beans yeah I mean you gotta eat rice rice and beans I don't really consider that poor people food um grilled cheese I remember I bought a grilled cheese at uh Panera it was so expensive I was so mad at myself I'm like I could have made this at home it was really ridiculous a lot of people were saying noodles crackers and butter um a lot of people were saying rice Craft dinner, I'm not eating a box macaroni, my my guy. Bologna on white bread, can't do the bologna. Hamburger helper, I saw somebody making that the other day, and I was like, people still eat hamburger helper. I'm not knocking it, but it's just, 
it's not nothing wrong with it but it just it's hamburger helper man i mean i'm not i'm not an anti-hamburger helper person but you know you know let's see what the men are talking about What can what can make you say I can guarantee she is single about women that you never met? Let's see what y'all talking about with these single women. She dresses like a nun. Really? Sometimes those girls be the biggest freaks. When a grown person demands and express everything in the way they want it, but openly admits that they'll do nothing in return. Okay. I know a lot of girls like that. Not much, really. I never really had the impulse of thought. A lot of mean, unattractive women are in relationships. A lot of nice, cute women are single. Yeah, it's kind of hard to say. To me, if someone, like, I would, I don't know. Because, like that person said, everybody likes different stuff. Um, Even I've seen, I mean, shoot, man. Have you ever seen 600-pound wife? Them women been in relationships. So I don't really know. That's a hard one. Let's see what the women are talking about. I happen to heard a woman say they've lost a good guy. I've said it before when I was in my self-sabotaging mode. Yeah, I've said that before. That's not nothing I'm afraid to say. Let's go ahead and get into... Um, some story time I've read my voice is hoarse I talked a lot yada 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 let's go ahead and get into that let's see here I go through his phone so he had a list of girls that he had slept with and he was saying it to his brother and his brother like no nah, bro you cool I know just tell her to chill so I noticed the girl's name in the phone but I'm like, no way this is his cousin. Like, she has a very common name, but it was spelled so differently. So I'm like, no, nah, this gotta be some other ghetto bitch that he didn't mess with before. So I completely just be like, whatever, okay, I guess he don't got five bodies then. So then I continue to go through his phone. And he's telling his brother how he in love with his ex-girlfriend from sixth grade. So I didn't really get too mad about that. I mean, I was mad about it, but I just let it go. So then a few more months go by, and it's like spring. His cousin invited me to a big birthday bash she was having. He did not want me to go at all. But I was telling him, like, no, I really like your cousin, and I think she cool. I really want to go. So he was like, okay, if you go, then I'm going to go, because I don't have time for dudes trying me. So while we at her birthday party, she comes out and stuff, and he's like, don't she look so cute? And I'm like, yeah, like, she really ate the girls up on her birthday. She did. So then, like, everybody on the dance floor, and he went to the bathroom. So I got his phone, and the same ex-girlfriend that he was talking about, I noticing that he had called her, like, before I got to his house. So, like, while I'm on my way to his house, an hour away, he on the phone with this girl. So I didn't really even know how to feel. I went into the bathroom, and then his cousin had followed after me, and she was asking me, like, what's going on? So then I had told her she knew the girl, and then she was calling him delusional and stuff. Not to his face. She was saying that to me. So then she in the bathroom calling me down, telling me, just just relax, just be cool. And she's like, if you want to go home, I completely understand. I wanted to go home. So his mama came to pick us both up. So while we in the car, he tried to touch my hand, and I did like that. So when we pulled up, I stormed in the house and started packing my stuff. He then had asked me what was wrong. I had put my headphones in. Now, AirPods was not out at the time, so I had headphones in. This man took some scissors and cut the headphones. He like, you don't hear me talking to you? So then I'm just ignoring him. So then out of nowhere, I sit down on the bed, and then all I know is he's swinging on me. And then back then, I could not fight, so I didn't hit him back. So then he's just said he's saying, like, talk to me, talk to me. But he's telling me to talk to me, but he's, like, flinching at me. Why he doing it? And then his mama was always gone because she was a whore. So we were just there alone fighting. We eventually had split up. So then I called his cousin. So then she's telling me on the phone, like, you really need to stop being with him. Like, don't ever go to his house after you leave and just block him on everything and stuff. And then after that, we didn't really too much talk. She said she was going to text me. She texted me the whole spiel on this girl, the ex-girlfriend that he was so in love with. So then the next day, I went home. I went home. I didn't text him. I didn't call him on nothing. 
he used his mama phone to text me and after that i had sent him screenshots of everything that his cousin had told me about him and this girl and that they've been talking and he been cheating on me so then after that he calls me he was saying like i'm so tired of her f you and her he was like the only reason why she don't want me with you is because we used to date and i'm like what and he was like yeah so he dated his cousin but why did she stay in that relationship so long like after he did the abusive stuff she still was like trying to send him evidence no boo boo move on let's see what else we got here you can hear me yeah real good let's go okay baby i've been talking to this, to this dude for two years now mm-hmm. Like, he even did it, like, that he was on, like, you know, the grinder app and all that 
Nope, that's not enough, sweetheart. That's that means he was that means he was there enough to say, um, it's a fucking hell of an echo. Um, he was there enough to say that put it like this, that thing that that situation right there is because he got caught. Okay, we get the gist of it. Yes. He gay. He gay. I don't even know why you consider taking him back, honey. Like, he didn't even tell you about this. Not only did he step out of your relationship, did he practice safe sex? Did you go to the doctor? These are all my pending questions. Like, if you, if someone told me that cheated with whatever, did you go get checked? Because black women have the highest HIV rate in this country, number one. Number two, he gay. That's it. We not salvaging that. You said you don't want to get down with it. Okay. Anyway. Good afternoon. I'm Lauren McCoy. And I'm Liz Reyes. The Jefferson Parish coroner says a preliminary autopsy shows six-year-old Bella Fontenelle died of manual strangulation with blunt force injuries to the head. Meanwhile, the woman accused of her death is now in jail, booked with her murder. And the horrific killing left the Harahan neighborhood in shock. But police say their investigation is far from over. Natasha Robert explains. She had the biggest smile. Her, It seemed to be she was the first one that would approach you, um, you know, and share and just giggle and how are you doing? The Harahan community is still reeling from the tragic death of six-year-old Bella Fontenelle. And I would see the little girl and her older sister out in the driveway playing many times, riding their little bikes, and the mother would sit out there with them. Uh, the grandmother and grandfather would sit out there with them. And it was just so beautiful to watch them. Investigators say her father's girlfriend, Hannah Landon, also known as Bunnick Landon, killed little Bella, stuffed her in a 10-gallon chlorine bucket and left it on her mother's front lawn late Tuesday night. The sheriff's office says it recovered surveillance video showing Landon walking down the street that night with a wagon in tow, carrying the bucket. She's now booked with first degree murder and obstruction of justice and is being held without bond. We've been a small bedroom community for years. You know, we average a murder once every three and a half, four years. And it was just it's a tragic thing. Harahan Police Chief Edward LaPre says just after midnight, early Wednesday morning, Landon came into the Harahan Police Station asking for help. Officer spoke to her. She seemed a little bit out of it. And uh, they called to have her. She was asking for a transport. So they called for an ambulance to come pick her up. And once the ambulance came and picked her up, they transported her to a local hospital to be evaluated. And that's where police say they eventually located and arrested her for murder. People who live near Bella's mother say they're in shock. I thought everything was all American, as you would say. You know, I know she was working through a stressful divorce. She did share that. But it seemed to be she was okay with it. I mean, she seemed to be um, moving forward with that situation. But court documents show there was conflict between the mother and Landon or Lim dating back to 2021. In one incident, court documents show the two women got into a physical confrontation during a swim meet for one of the kids and Bella's father had to intervene. In another incident, the two seemed to scuffle during a soccer game. Chief LaPre says the investigation into the little girl's murder is far from over. We're going to work to the end to try to make sure we get a, a conviction. This is a small baby, and any family would be devastated. I can only imagine what the mother and father is going through right now. When it happens two doors down from your house, and you look outside and you see multiple policemen, it is like, what in the world is going on here? People who live in this neighborhood still cannot believe what happened, but they say they're leaning on each other to cope with the tragedy. In Harahan, Natasha Robin, Fox 8, Local First. I'm sorry, this is why I don't like co-parenting, y'all. I'm. This is times like this where single motherhood, and mind you, I'm married, but single motherhood is bomb. Because you ain't got to deal with no daddies and co-parenting and somebody hurting your kids. 
like there is some plus size to single parent because I promise you like I know that lady would not be in jail right now I'm sorry let's see what else hold on because I don't know if I can take another murder mayhem thing right now uh yeah I think we gotta we gotta we gotta we gotta wrap it up y'all we gotta wrap it up we gotta go in a week light um I feel like that this isn't a good thing but it's good because this lady's gonna do some time because she really tried to go to the hospital like she had a temporary breakdown but since they can show that she her and the mom been getting into it this lady honestly needs to me the death chamber but that's just me um prayers to that family that is just so sad and heartbreaking uh is it in yet it's gonna sign off and get myself started for my week i hope that you guys have an amazing awesome week P- keep pray over yourselves and your family and keep your heads up i'm out <laughs>